Hi everyone, my level Sean Peatman here again with the movie gallery and well I wanna talk about Beverly Hills Cop 2. Well this is well the sequel to Beverly Hills Cop 1 which had has a street talking wise ass cop from Detroit going to Beverly Hills trying to stop stop what what this Guy who was bringing illegally bringing in cocaine and bonds from one country, and trying to arrest him for killing his best friend with the help of two Bill Hills cop in 1984, plus the two. Bill Hill's cops that helped A. Murphy's character out are the typical buddy cop dynamic. We have the gristle old, old cop with uh, the young upstart, and uh, they have a. All three of them have a tight ass bosses in their own precinct. One is the trait for A. Murphy's. Character and the two cops in Beverly Hills, but this film, Beverly Hills Cop 2, it's this, the follow up and it's about the alphabet crimes that was in Beverly Hills that led to the Beverly Hills Cop cops. Uh, <laughs> boss g getting shot and it led to led to Eddie Murphy's character coming back to Billy Hills trying to find who shot him and all these hijinks happen in Billy Hills it goes from downtown LA and Beverly Hills to the Playboy Mansion to a gun range And one line in this film made me laugh at about when what A. Murphy called Bridget Nielsen, Nielsen in, in this film. I this is this sequel is a good sequel for Billy Hill's Cup. Unlike well, part three, which I'm trying to find myself. So I enjoyed Billy this film. I'm giving this movie well. A hearty four out of five, and we're gonna. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a double feature, so I'm gonna do a. This is a, little, a double feature, and it's gonna be continuing on the sequel. So, Hangover Part Two. What can I say about this movie? Just picture all what happened in, in Part One, but. It's in Bangkok, with more outrageous stuff happening to the three main guys from part one, and Leslie Chow, which I highly enjoy. This, this film has a freaking monkey in it, and this monkey, how can I put it politely, he smokes, he steals and it's a good right good fun time watching this film. Plus this movie is a lot better than the third movie. Just like Beverly Hills Cop 2. Because part three was a to me it was a huge letdown. To me putting Zach Allen's the, the guy who plays the idiot in these movies as the, the leading guy, which I think was not right because he he was off his meds. His character was was off his meds, and you know what? He to me he's he wasn't he's not ready to be a leading guy in the Hangover franchise. I, I was thinking, you know what? Part one involved. 
his, his new brother-in-law being, well, kidnapped in part two was it helps for bride brother getting kidnapped at but all I'm saying is sit back watch this movie you'll get a bunch of laughs and that's it for this episode of the movie gallery